The date is February 28th, 2024. A delegation from Binance, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, is on a mission in Nigeria. Their goal, to engage with authorities to address concerns and to seek clarity on matters of cryptocurrency regulations and compliance. Among the delegation are executives Tigran Gambarian and Nadim Anjawala. Little do they know, their trip is about to take a dramatic turn. Fast forward to May 7, 2024, Crypto.News reports an incident involving the Binance executives. In a surprising turn of events, Binance CEO Richard Teng alleges that unknown individuals demanded a cryptocurrency bribe from Gambarian and Anjawala prior to their arrest. The following day, Nigeria's federal government adamantly refutes these allegations. They accuse Binance and its CEO of fabricating the bribery story in an attempt to undermine a criminal investigation into the exchange. The government labels this as a deceptive media campaign designed to interfere with the legal processes. Meanwhile, SBM Intelligence, a risk consultancy firm, shares its perspective on the unfolding situation. The firm suggests that the detainment of Binance officials, coupled with the allegations of bribery, casts a dark shadow over Nigeria's image to potential foreign investors. The firm goes on to say that such incidents could dissuade foreign investment, undermine the rule of law, and hinder efforts to alleviate poverty and inequality in Nigeria. The firm also notes the broader context of cryptocurrency acceptance in Nigeria. Despite the government's staunch opposition, ordinary citizens continue to engage with cryptocurrencies due to the investment and transaction opportunities they provide. SBM Intelligence highlights the potential long-term effects on Nigeria's ability to attract foreign investment. This comes at a time when President Bola Tinubu is making concerted efforts to lure international investors. The firm emphasizes that the continued detention of foreign business representatives could severely hamper these efforts. In conclusion, the Binance incident paints a stark image of the risks of operating in an environment where demands for bribes and indefinite detentions can occur. This could serve as a cautionary tale for businesses, complicating the investment landscape in Nigeria. This incident has not only raised eyebrows within the cryptocurrency industry, but also among foreign investors worldwide. It underscores the challenges faced by businesses operating in complex regulatory environments and the potential implications for the future of cryptocurrency and foreign investment in Nigeria. One thing is certain. The unfolding story of Binance in Nigeria will continue to reverberate across the globe, shaping discourse on cryptocurrency regulations and foreign investments.